Hello folks and welcome to Max Thrust RC and another ears launch event. It's sure to be another good one so without any further delay let's get to the action. Okay, folks, so uh, here's our local superstar, Rush Strand. Some of you may have seen him on James May's Toy Stories and BBC at uh, Christmas time, uh, where he sent uh, Cindy Supersonic. It's fantastic. Um, what he's done here, just to uh, show you the ingenuity of some of the members we've got here, is built a, uh, an eBay for the big rocket you can see behind wrapped in uh, wrapping paper. <laughs> and uh, he's just going to talk us through it. Hello, Russ. Hi, right, so what we've got here is, uh, is the eBay for doing the deployment of the parachutes. Um, there's two flight computers, there's one here and there's one on the other side just there. Um, the idea is, is these detect the altitude and the velocity and all that kind of stuff and they have preset times to deploy a charge through the top and the bottom. And uh, there's obviously some batteries, lots of wiring, and the main point is that uh, you want all of the forces to be not on any of the electronics through all of the rods at the top and the bottom. And so. Uh, Everything marries up and it goes into this section here with some vent holes in it so that the barometers can detect the uh, altitude and um, a couple of switches so it can all be switched on from the outside. So hopefully uh, we'll see that rocket behind deploy all of its chutes in the correct order at the correct time. So that's going to be going up today folks later on so we'll be sure to get some absolutely fantastic footage of that. Thank you very much Russ for explaining that and uh, yeah, countdown begins. <laughs> Yeah. they wanted was totally different to the impression you've got or, or yes they think it might be up to 100 but it might be five yeah you know and, and there's five 24 mil um cicerone no we can probably get away with that only a one grain but still half of them don't have them written in anyway rob controls all right yes okay on wait a minute don't yeah, that's right, yeah. I'll, I'll follow you mike follow you mike okay yes Right. Turn on. Nitrous on. Yeah, it's, it's normally a plastic hold down or not? And, uh, yeah, hold it down. Here it's very busy, Rob. Where's it bent? Yeah. Oh, it's about the middle, isn't it? It's about the middle. It goes up like engine and then comes down like wide. Sounds like it's bent. Venting. John, you need to put something pokey in that, mate. <laughs> yeah, I haven't flown it for a year and a half. Yeah. So the next one I've got in the car is. <laughs> you need an I80 in it. It'd be lovely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, on high power pad we have Ray Wilkinson with what four on an I one seventy. I'm prepared to go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. 
Use your pads on yes, all right? Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Oh, it's got the brace on it as well. Is everything out of the way, Rob? I've moved it to oh, one side. Okay, on the other pad we have Sun Champion Express with Star Freak on a B12 recovery pipe parachute. I'm going to try and see separate the wires a little bit lower down. And then obvious. Strip it. So here's Pete's second go at his uh, Boomerang 2 dodgy igniter the first time. But uh, you say we've got an H in there now, Pete. No comment. <laughs> And so uh, it's H90. And and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the uh, ailerons whatsoever. Of course not. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that's absolutely. Look at that. The proof is right there. <laughs> Fantastic. Good effort though, made me jump. <laughs> Touchdown. So folks, uh, here's Malcolm's rocket rigged up with its new eBay, ready for its ground test before uh, its flight later on. So, uh, should be cool. This one. So we connect that one up and um, fire that off. Um, come and reset and then do the other one. And if they both go and all the pins go, then... We're happy. I think the, the overall plan is, of course, he's got all of that rest of it behind it. Yeah. So the idea is, this will go. Of inertia, yeah. Well, it'll be all right. It was going to have it the other way around, have the main in this section, but I think it's better in there because it'll go up to Apogee, blow the nose off, pull the drogue out, then all of his gubbins under there will drag separate, leaving that as a complete bay that will just sit and fall. Yeah, I'm just here And then at the lower altitude, that will blow out and the main will come out from the between, yeah. well, between that joint. Yeah. Which I think is a bit, a bit nicer than having it all tucked up in the front. So. Okay. We'll see. So Malcolm, this is your rocket, isn't it? No. No? no <laughs> you don't claim you don't claim responsibility no, I don't for claim it. Re either responsibility whatsoever. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. You never know. If it Should, works, safety I'm happy. first. Safety first, absolutely. He's the man. Oh, that. Are you ready? You ready, you Malcolm? Are. So all you, Mal. All you. Right. Okay, first stage is firing in five, four, three, two, one. I think that was a bit short. It's a bit much. <laughs> a bit much I told you that was a lot of charge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Right, yep, any time. Lovely jubbly. Well, they all sheared. Thank you. Right, well, it only actually sheared. It only sheared like one more. They, they started to go, didn't they? That's the trouble with the cardboard tubes. Yeah. Well, these mm. bent. 
these pops out. As long as they, as long as they do their... It's it doesn't, fine. They've, yeah. they've done what they needed to do. You can see a couple of them have actually... Started, well, started I can see there's going. one or two that are actually fully sheared off. Yeah. That'll bring the shoot out. Um, just, yeah. just retain it at the end and retain it with a... So we uh, we got a white thunder in this one then Ben. Yeah, it's a K940 white thunder four grain. K940, fantastic. Obviously a 54. Yeah. Looks brilliant. I flew it on the same motor last uh, yeah. July, June, uh -huh. July, but without the payload section on, so. Right, okay. More, more stubby that time. Oh, I think I might have, uh, yeah, I think I might have got that one. Uh, so this is not going to go quite as high. And this has now got ridiculous, I haven't got any big parachutes at the moment. I've got about four on order. So right, okay. Four, four small parachutes in it. Because uh, last time it took a while for them to come out, didn't it? Was it three <laughs> of them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is this is more silly and complex than it was last time. So fantastic! Oh, well, I can't wait. Coming out is probably fairly slim, but hopefully there'll be enough shoots will come out. But it's recovering in two sections. The whole pilot section, the nose is coming down in one piece on a six-foot shoot. Right. And the booster's coming down on three four-foot shoots. Fantastic. Well, that's the plan anyway. Well, I can't All wait to see it happen. Thing, the whole thing's coming down on a single tangled streamer of. <laughs> tied up with nylon, which is why I've angled it that way. <laughs> awesome. Oh well, it should be a good spectacle. Yeah, so that's, that be fun. that's going to be great. The Dodgy recovery system. <laughs> and Jarvis' rocket brute force flying on a K940 with about five different shoots on there in all sorts of different bits. So heads up and we're launching in five, four, three, two, one, launch. So uh, here folks is somebody who doesn't read the NOTAMs. We always put a NOTAM out to make sure everyone knows that the rocket flying is going on but they still fly right over the top anyway. So of course we delay any launches when that, when that happens. Boo! Thank you. 
get it over with. Yeah, get it over with. Get you, get you shipped off. It's been shipped off a long while. I told you, she's not coming with a dowry. Happy with that? Yep. Well, she got the igniter. Yes. Did you get screwdriver? Oh, I didn't look to see whether your dad did it in all those other sections, did you? It probably would have done. Cool, that's stiff. That was amazing. He got like an airplane that must have fixed. You know, like a little thing right there, just to make that come. Go on, keep going. So if you if you have a look, Malk, you'll see that those two. Oh, oh fucking hell! Oh, oh, oh. Too much weight. Too much weight. So what happened there? That's gonna that's gonna it's break. Been, uh, that's gonna it's been break. Come out of the it's too much weight. Yeah. It's too heavy. Too heavy. No way, guys. Go, go eat, put some more pins in. You can't get any more pegs in there. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. I've got several big pegs. I'll hold it down, Michael. No, let's not no, go over with it. It's giving way no, at, the, at the joint, not at the legs. You kinked, kinked it. Not it. One side. Yeah, it's oh, gone. It's got a fold now. No. Uh, up to you. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm confident enough that it's safe enough, but oh, I, think, I think it's going to. I think it's going to fold on launch. That that bent quite a lot. Yeah, I know. It'll go dead up straight. I'm sure. Just need some small pegs. I've got pegs, but we need to go through a hole. You have got, you've got, you've got any hooks on? Yeah. You've got ones with hooks on? Yeah. Shall I put this in then? Can I put this in my No, way? you can. You're rich. Let's not push it. No, let's not. Mm. 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 standing there with his lighter lit. Yeah, go, yeah. can I do it? Can I do it now? Can I do it now? Just hold on until it gets to zero. They just fall backwards. We have uh, Malcolm. Firing his Christmas cracker, which is way too long, and everything else. Everybody? Yeah. Okay, we're all clear, and we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. The mount thing works again? Huh? Mount magic works again. We need this faint dinging to the sound of mount. Uh, yeah, but you see that was under, under the altitude for both to, to deploy both at the same time. Either that or because it was on such an angle it sheared all the pins. I think it sheared the pins. Yeah, but the, well, what I don't know is whether they both popped because it was below. Come and get involved, folks. It's awesome. Hey, Keith Russ. Mike, be careful because the post-up main charge didn't done. A few zippers, quite a few. Okay. Especially on that one. Alright, don't worry, I'll sort it all out. Just take it apart and do it, break it down into three or four sections, make it easier to carry. Mm. So you happy with that fly, Malcolm? No. Oh. Rubbish. Oh. Well, it got going, that's the main thing. You see the zipper on that one, look? Yeah. 
Okay, folks, so that just about wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And if you're interested in getting involved, we really do want to expand this hobby in the UK, bring it to the masses. I've put a link to the UCRA website, that's the United Kingdom Rocketry Association, at the bottom of your screen now. There's also a link in the description uh, so you can check out all of the clubs around the place. Ears, Midland, there's all sorts to choose from. So uh, visit the club page there and you're sure to find your closest club. It'd be brilliant to see you at a launch event in the UK at some time. Well, that's all from Max Thrust RC for now and I'll be sure to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.